I'm Molly, also known as the Tuesday, and welcome back to my channel. If you're seeing my face for the very first time, hi, nice to meet you. You are welcome to this gang, and if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back, baby. Today's video is gonna be all about questions that you guys asked me via the DMs on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and also from a poll that I put up on Instagram about a week ago. So it's gonna be all about dentistry, how many people they take in one year, what subjects that you need to study in high school in order to get into dentistry. So I wanted to make some, I wanted to make a video for my girlies and boys in high school because you guys asked me a lot of questions about dentistry and I think it is about time that I hint to the masses and this video is for you guys. Yo, you guys had a lot to ask. I might not answer every single question that you guys had, but before you kill me, I'm coming back for you, baby. I'm coming back for you, baby. I will definitely be answering more of your questions in the next videos. So let's get into this video. Question number one, what subjects do you need to get into dentistry? In high school, you need to do your pure maths you need to do your physical science, you need to do your life science, and obviously you need to do your languages and the rest. But these are the ones that they look at your physics, your life science, and your maths. Because what happens is that in first year, you actually go back to life science, you do physics again, and you do chemistry again. Question number two, what subjects or modules did you do in first year? So in 2019, I was doing my first year. Here's a list of the subjects that I did in 2019. I did physics for dentistry, chemistry for dentistry, human biology, life science, introduction to Isitosa. I did clinical dentistry. Last but not least, I also did primary health care. Question number three, do dental students get paid? I was being paid for the patients that I saw for these three years I would have some sh money but unfortunately dental students do not get paid guys I don't know where this theory is coming from we get paid zero we get paid in experience to be honest because like exploitation it's giving child labor child patients trying to show their appreciation to us for all the work that we did on them for all the time that we spent with them via gifts and stuff which is super super sweet but technically we are not supposed to accept anything from our patients but yeah question number four do you have to be good at art or drawings in order to enjoy dentistry you do not have to be good at art or be an artistic person i mean with every dental student you learn over time how to do certain procedures and you perfect your technique with years of experience training and so you don't have to be an artistic person but i guess it would help being artistic you would enjoy things like cons and carving you know tooth morphology on wax so that would make you enjoy dentistry more if you were artistic but you definitely do not need to be an artistic babe number five how many first year students do they take so when i was in first year i was in a class of 80 plus students. So it really ranges between 80 to 90 students that they take every year to do their first year. One of you guys asked, is it fine if I applied for oral hygiene, then let's take it, I do it, finish my course, get the degree and then apply for dentistry. Absolutely. And let me tell you a secret. Come closer, come closer, come closer. You don't even have to finish oral hygiene so you can you have the choice of either finishing the degree or transferring to dentistry the next year you need to remember that when you're going to transfer to dentistry you obviously need to apply at uwc and you're going to be applying as a current student you need to go to the faculty's admin office in order to get the best information on how to do so because they don't take a lot of students from a diff who are studying a different course and want to get into dentistry i believe like they take 
less than five i think it is two i'm not sure i'm gonna have to get back to you guys with that one but you need to try to get the best possible marks that you can if you want to do this because again dentistry is a very competitive course to get into so you need to try to maximize your chances of getting in also what i like about this option of starting with oral hygiene oral hygiene students are introduced into the clinics way earlier than we do they actually get introduced into working with patients in their first year as opposed to dentistry where we only start working on patients in our third year so this is going to be a good time for you to learn some clinical skills get to know how to work with patients you know just boost your confidence with learning how to deal with people how to work with people question seven are you happy studying at uwc or do you want to go somewhere else if you could i would like to say that i actually am happy that i studied at uwc because i came to cape town and this was a huge it was a big 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 change for me and i learned how to be independent more i've met amazing people i've seen so many beautiful places built good relationships with people with my patients and with my supervisors so not everything was glitz and glam though like they were very there was a lot of struggles eg the racism but like girl let's not get into that i've faced a lot of challenges obviously as a student everything in life has challenges so nothing is smooth god didn't promise us an easy life so you you're gonna face challenges in everything that you do and i'm actually glad that this was the battle i picked coming to study here i've learned so much and i am truly grateful for this whole experience and i wouldn't change it even if i could but if i were to specialize and do postgrad somewhere i would be open to going to some to a different university question number eight is is dentistry difficult dentistry is i feel like i've answered this question so many times on this channel but i'm gonna do it again for you guys dentistry is not easy like i said earlier i face a lot of challenges in this degree i face a lot of um, racism i faced a lot of difficulties um understanding certain concepts and topics i've really been challenged mentally with the schoolwork and with patients working with patients who are very difficult so i think in general it was a very it wasn't an easy journey at all i don't want to lie to anyone but it's very doable you will definitely make it it's it's difficult but not impossible question number nine is there a lot of competition into getting into dental school and yes there is guys yes there are the minimum requirements you need to get the best possible marks that you can there's a lot of factors that get into it so just because you're not accepted doesn't mean you're not smart some people have had amazing marks but didn't make it through so don't doubt on yourself don't give up on your dream if you really feel like this was your calling and this is what you need to do with your life then i wouldn't say give up on it maybe you were destined to go through a different pathway than just going straight into dental school focus on working on your marks trying to improve your marks by going to extra lessons doing extra post papers just trying to improve your marks first and then even if you don't get in there's always the possibility of rewriting or applying for something else and then going into dental school guys that is the end of today's video if i didn't answer your question i swear i'm gonna get back to you girl you need a whole i'm gonna put a post on this call and i'm gonna get back to you girl i'll be uploading part two of this series and i will be posting another poll on facebook instagram and also on youtube to see what you guys would like to know more about dental school even so many people different advice about dentistry in the dms i've guided a lot of people i've shared past papers i've shared documents even if you just need someone to send you a past paper i'm your girl
so you don't have to get through dental school alone and you don't have to apply to dental school alone because i am gonna be the girl who's gonna be holding your hand literally i'm gonna be your big sister and we're gonna get through this together so i'll see you guys in the next video and have yourselves a wonderful week